Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of the shore. Let's jump right back into the action. All right, if you all remember in the last episode, we beat Cthulhu in a game of chess. We found a medallion in the cellar basement of a lighthouse. Um, we found a couple old coins laying around. We found the secret Degur that we can't take, unfortunately. And so we're going to take that medallion and put it in one of these pedestals, I'm assuming, that we found out here. Like this one right over here. It's kind of, it throws you off. The music's so like peaceful and relaxing, but it has like that suspense. Ooh. And hey, okay, nothing happened. Okay, we're going to try it again. Just cram it in there. Maybe I... You know, just fly it around. All right. So that didn't work. So we're going to try a different path. There's the way back that has the weird obelisk that I'm still avoiding. Uh, I'm not sure that's that's something I want to have to deal with right now. Try this one in the weird, technically. Oh, quit doing that. We know it doesn't work. Okay, give me back. Thank you. Okay. Off to a great start. Both of the little paths do not work. Maybe we'll get lucky with a third. I haven't been this way yet. So we can go that way to the obelisk. Or this way to a fancy dead end. Okay, we're going to the obelisk. You know, generally, I find the Cthulhu Mythos in interesting, but not something you fuck with. Ah, yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, stand up. Hey, it's Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. voice? Get out of my head. Out of my head. Okay. Ah, yes. He's making. <laughs> Why my spaghetti? He's crying. Oh, that doesn't look hack happy face. And that's a dinosaur. And this is not something I would want to mess with at all. Um. I guess we're going to the pit. <laughs> okay. Go through. Yes. Oh. Okay. This monolith is the key of the silent. Break it free. Break it. Boop. It doesn't move. Yeah, this seems like a terrible idea. What is that up there? Okay, the music is getting kind of intense. And those look like legs. Are those legs on top of... Is this thing alive? I guess we're going to touch the little things. The little talisman. Let's see. Boop. Oh, okay. They just spin. Hopefully there's not a, you know, sequence of touching these because I have no idea what it is. It sounds like we're getting, like, internet connection going on. Is that what Cthulhu is? Just a bad internet connection from the 1990s dial-up? You know, my guy is sure-footed as hell because you know this rock will be slippery as a mother. Alright, well there's three of the four spinnies. Let's see. You know, the, vol the volcanic ash keeps spinning. You know, kind of like the captain said about our compass first episode all right well let's you know this is one of those situations where you know you you get tempted to push a button that says do not touch this is one of those situations where you do not touch the fucking button plain and simple don't, don't even think about it. a voice telling you in your head to do it oh my way back just turned off oh look pretty star see the world through the um, eyes of a god 
like a dream in a flash of light. You wear the existence of mine and grasp time in your conscious mind. Okay, that's not horrifying. Is, is that his butthole? Did the big thing just show me his giant butthole? Okay, we uh, we broke the island. I guess it's time to get back in the boat and leave. Can we get out of the pit? Yes, please. Yep, let me out of the pit. We've got to get out of here. Yep, come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, we did something bad. Because the awful noises are continuing. What does this lighthouse do? Is it an interdimensional transporter? Hey, there's the thing. Oh. I can hear it walking. Oh, what was that? Seeing things, I thought there was something like perched on the rock above me. Great. We have freed the phallic monument. You gonna come <laughs> poke the big tentacle thing that rose up out of the water in the first episode? Your hopes, but no. I'd get my my videos taken down by YouTube for uh, inappropriate act. Okay, I thought it may work because I got this stupid killer monster moving. Let's try the other one. If that doesn't work. We're gonna go poke the obelisk, I guess. At least the monsters aren't attacking me per se. Aha! Oh, uh, where are you going? Okay. As a young boy, I remember my father talking about this island. He described it in a way that would scare the listener. He spoke of black butterflies, corpse, can corpse candles, and broken compasses. Well, I thought we didn't know about this island or what it was, but now his father's telling stories about it, and I haven't seen black butterflies yet. Genie in a bottle. Five. Oh. There was a man aboard named Alan who went missing after we shipwrecked. One hmm. night, we found him walking alone across the beach. As we approached him, to our surprise, we saw that he had this fixed expression on his face Ooh. as if he had seen something horrifying. His hands, his hands and arms were paralyzed in a position like if he was protecting himself from something. Well, we tried to ask him questions, but he didn't reply. Faster. Now he's sitting by the shore, singing songs to the rocks about reflections in the sea. Well, yeah, you can see reflections. Grab the spear. This island feels like it's maintained. Ah. Touched by time. In your shark. The wind and the waves pause for a minute to rest. Jaws ain't so Calm scary. Before the storm. I don't like that. Grab something to defend yourself. Ugh, all these messages barely describe what I have witnessed today. That old the fool. Old fool Alex suddenly went insane. He started stuffing his mouth with rocks. What? He kept doing so until his cheeks were completely torn. Oh my god! We had to tie him down. If you're reading this, send help. There's definitely something wrong with this guy. That sounds horrible. Ugh. I'm having an episode. I'm gonna cram my mouth with rock. I recognize this boat. What? It was made by an artist to represent our greatest catch. How did it end up here? This? This was meant to be completed by the end of December. It's still September. It doesn't look like anything. That. I don't like that this stupid thing is just eagle eggs. It's just, you know, creeping in the background. Oh, look, another bottle. 
Whoa. Despite his fear about the island, he would often come here fishing some very colorful fish. That's not how you spell colorful. I remember finding myself quite disturbed as I watched him stuff his mouth with the wrong. Oh. Huh. It's happening. Every man for himself. Every man for himself. They all started losing their minds, like what happened to Thanos. Like Thanos? He ate his own fingers oh. and cut his eyes. God! He was screaming something about being ready to receive the gift of the Watcher. I've lost track of time. I don't know what the date is anymore, or the hour. The sun isn't moving. Why is the sun not moving? Oh my god, that's awful. This, then I hope you end up here too. What? Why would you wish that on anybody? If I'm suffering, you will suffer too. Um, hopefully I don't have to see the guy who cut his island ate his fingers. Uh, what order do you think he did that in, by the way? Uh, you know, put a one down in the comments if he had his fingers first, put a two if he cut his eyelid. I don't know. That just sounds horrible. Well, we got another medallion. Medallion is being uh, progress means the sun is moving. We're all gonna die here. Why did we come here? Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh. It's glowing. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Just doing a quick, you know, reconnaissance of the area. Make sure everything's safe before we touch the glowing object. Oh, hey, I shouldn't have touched it. No. Oh, God. Okay. Um, does that mean I'm crazy now? Oh, I'm just moving like I normally do. Probably not a great idea that I did that. I'm the problem with people in horror movies. Gotta touch it. Just gotta fuck with it. I'm pop my neck. What is this? How did I miss this? Oh. What the fuck are you? Is that Nerlethotep? All praise this. All hail this. That's a pretty cool statue. That was a pretty cool model. Nothing in the bottle. There's no genie in that bottle, baby. All right, we got the other medallion. Look like a path. We are gonna go scooby doo on up over to that other path on the other side of the lighthouse. So uh, I apologize for activating the big pillar thing. If you see it, if you live by the coast, you're walking by. Sorry, that's on me. Eat the medallion. This one's got Cthulhu's face on it. I'm holding ship to sprint. This place feels like it was always a part of me. As if it has taken a hold of me and won't let go. Another foot in the sand, but this time sink deeper beneath the shore. Yeah, that... Semi-morbid? Alright, we're going right. Right is always right. Unless you're left-handed, then you could be right. More seashell? Sally, don't step. Sell she scales down on this shore. Hmm. Love dead ends. I still don't. Seagull eggs. Sus. Is that fish? No. Like a reed or something. It looks like a, like a little fish. Fish. So this island is basically made of. Let me take it. What do we got? Day 30. Elliot is trying to put together the broken parts on a boat we found. Hmm. If he manages to build it, then we might have a chance of escaping this place. Wow. We have to try at least. There's only three of us left now in our crew. We can't afford to waste any more time here. Well, you waited a As month. If time exists in this place. 
I think I'm starting to lose my mind. Hmm. I can hear my breath after a screeching sound pierces my ears. Oh, okay. If you are reading this, then don't look for us. I thought the skeleton popped up, but it's this little thing right here. Why are there pieces? We do. Oh, oh, hey, I wasn't done. I was going to read that. Well, that's gone forever. Why are we not taking these trident? Oh, I can't. That's like a battleship. So there's body bits. Aha. Well then, we need our next scare. There it is, the bird. All right, we're gonna head towards that boat we saw the blue dude. Hopefully we can get out again. Another picture, another memory of a dog. It's so cute, his name is Scruff, Scruff Muffins. Scruff Muffins the dog. Looking upon my daughter's toy gave me some sort of happiness. It's a hat. And I can't take my mind off the idea she's been taken by one of those creatures. Um, I thought she, no, the wife died. The seagulls took her. It's the seagulls all along. Come on, bottle. I it's not my, my knees. fault. What? A person has already died here. Jay spoke about a shadow whispering between the rocks. We can't stay on this island anymore. We have to leave now. It miss. I fell to my knees and begged him not to into that basement. Not to into that basement. Not to into that basement. Hmm. Apparently the voice actor was like, nah, I'm not gonna read that. Alright. Scary tunnel with mermaids or boat to freedom. Solitude and peace is what a soul seeks after being free. Um did they die in vain? That that thing's head is a it appears they were murdered. <laughs> what a horrible way to find solitude. Thing's head was a more pictures. Oh God. Do they not see the things behind them? The blue man group? Aha, the buoy. Yeah, we, kn we knew we could jump. On the orca. To freedom. Um, sure. And an upset octopus. Oh, that, that right there is the creepiest thing I've seen in this game so far. And on that note, with the creepy baby, we are going to end episode two of The Shore. If you like what you see, consider giving me a thumbs up. If there's anything I missed, leave me a comment down below. Consider hitting that subscribe button to stay on top of the content that I'm putting out, and I will see you in the next one.